All right, what's going on today, guys? I wanna show you guys how to sand and paint your calipers. Maybe they need a refresh, maybe they kinda of look a little ugly with your rims. The tools I will be using today, sandpaper ranging from 200 grit to 600 grit, a couple different sizes of wire wheels, brake cleaner, caliper paint, any other kind of high temp paint will do just as fine, and some rubbing alcohol. Now your calipers might look something like this, quite rusted, so they will need a nice good sanding down. For this I'm going to be using a wire wheel, and of course when using these make sure to wear eye protection. Now that I worked on it with the wire brushes, it's kind of how you want it to look. I also want to make note. Make sure not to rip these little rubber boots in the back here when you're uh, using the wire brush. And uh, make sure not to breathe in the brake dust. Getting a mask might not be a bad idea. Now to finish off the back, I'm going to end up removing the caliper to get a better angle at it. So now I have the caliper part one piece there and then the other piece right here. I ended up sanding it with a little bit of 400 grit as best I could and now I'm just going to clean it up with a little bit of brake cleaner. Make sure to not get any of this stuff on the paint because it's very corrosive. Alright, so I just put the two pieces back together here. Brake clean is all nice and dried. Now we're going to move on to the rubbing alcohol. Alright, so with a towel and a little bit of rubbing alcohol in it, let's go ahead and give it another nice wipe down. As you can see, it is still a little bit dirty and that's why we do this step taped up the little rubber boots on the brake calipers because you don't want to paint that. Next step, make sure everything is completely dry and then move on to the paint. So I'm going to start with a few different coats here. I'm going to just start light and then get heavier. Please read and follow the labels of your paint that you're using. I've finished painting and I've let this dry for a few hours. I'm going to simply drive around and cure the paint by using the brakes. So after a few coats of paints, making sure to get it from every angle, this is the final product. I think it turned out quite well and if I didn't stress enough already, it is very important that you do sand and clean it as best as possible. It's all in the prep guys, so if you want something that looks really good, take your time as it might have only looked like I spent seconds doing this with the wire wheel and sanding on camera I actually did spend quite a bit of time on it. As for the rotors you can also paint the face of these ones too which I would highly recommend if you're not changing them but it just so happens that I do have fresh ones that will be going on there. If you guys like today's video give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe down below.